This is the week, the week leading up to the Super Bowl. Of course, that means the big things for the Wilson Football Factory in Ada. Took my annual visit to watch the process in action and need to see this year that Ada is sending both the football and a quarterback to the big game in the Big Apple. It's the most awesome thing in the world because he's the, probably the most humble kid I've ever met in my life. I mean, he's just uh, the kid, the next kid you want next door or your daughter to marry right there. That's the kind of kid he is. Jenkins grew up with Dysert's dad, and the families were always at sporting events together. He knew he was special because I can remember when they played soccer, they were seven and eight years old. Zach made sure everybody on the team scored a goal for the season. Really? Yeah, he, he made sure. Then he was probably like 12 years old. He decided to get on the swim team. Never swam before. By championships, he won five medals. So he just a uh, wonderful. They bought the bowling alley. Within months, he could bowl 200 games. Just the type of kid he is. Just a great, just a great kid, a great asset to Ada. Each of the game balls goes through numerous hands and machines to get it ready to ship to both the Broncos and the Seahawks. And then thousands of footballs are made and sold to the public as collector's items. But before the footballs head out, they have to pass one final test. We look at every part of the ball. We look at the leather, the stamping, we clip off threads, we straighten the laces, and this one's a little dirty, so we're going to have to clean it. It's all clean, and that's a good ball. Everyone at Wilson will get to watch their workmanship Super Bowl Sunday and also know that a hometown boy is on the sideline. It's just great to know that we got somebody from Ada finally. I mean, how many kids make it to the NFL? Hardly any. And to bring a ring home would be even be icing on the cake. Be great.